بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویل دس از سافٹ ویئر وٹ وی کال اے کیٹ پی ایٹ از یوز ٹو انالائز دی پیومنٹ وین آئی مین وین آئی سی پیومنٹ آئی مین انالیسس ان ٹرمس آف اسٹریس اسٹرینس ان دی فلیکشن دس سافٹ ویئر کین انالائز بوتھ فلیکسیبل اینڈ گڈ پیومنٹ ناؤ دس از اے ٹوٹوریل فار how to use this software first of all what we do uh, you you can see uh, the layout of the software on the left side it says as what means from here you can analyze the flexible payment and from here the, you can analyze the rigid payment so uh, this in this tutorial i will explain you how to analyze a flexible payment i will solve Uh, certain examples and uh, and I will solve this problem because I already solved it but I will show you uh, what to do what so first we always start with this button we say this tab layer input and when you say layer input you will have this window open for you so the first first of all you will start to say you will have file you can always start say new or old uh, for the sake of the, this tutorial i am using an old file but you can always have a new file so i say old if i say old i will have to go and search for the directory uh, s will go Solve the example two point one in your book, so that we know the answer and then we can do the analysis. Yes, whatever, whatever you want. Let me see what that example two point one is. So this is my example 2.1 on book page 49. So let's see this and what are the inputs. You see, uh, we say this is uh, example one of linear linear elastic material system under 12 tires. And then the type of material I say it's linear because we are not considering The other analysis also as far as the non-linear material subset is elastic, so we can do any types or analyze any type of material we consider. But for the sake of this course, we'll stick to that linear analysis. When we say damage analysis, we mean uh, either uh, we want to know how how much time the stress will make the pavement to fail. So that's we call uh, the number of failures, or we, uh, if not, we will say that uh, we we'll use uh, all the design with summary and the detailed printout. So since we are not uh, using this damage analysis in this example, so we say it's uh, zero. We are not. Trusted in this sense, so that's why I have written zero. Then the number of periods per year, that's one. Let's keep it one, uh, because you know sometimes uh, we have to uh, have uh, designing in a region where we may have different elasticity modulus in different types of years, but for the sake of uh, this. Example, we keep it to one. Then there is there is a number of load groups. Uh, it's you know it's the number of vehicles you are analysis you can analyze. For example, if I analyze a car, then I say there are two load groups, one at the rear and one at the bottom. 
if I analyze a bus, then there will be a load group, one on the single front axle, and the other load group is at the rear axle. But if say if I say if I want to analyze a bus, a truck uh, with three axles, so then I will have five load group, two for bus and three for truck. And if I say I have to analyze a single axle truck. I have to analyze a two axle truck and I have to analyze a three axle truck. So for single axle truck, I will have two load group. For double axle truck, we'll have a three load. So two plus three, five. And for a four axle truck, I will have five load group. So that will say, so will five plus four plus three, that makes 12. The maximum load group you can analyze 12. Number of layers in the pavement. The problem with this software, it cannot analyze a single layer pavement. So the minimum layer you can analyze is two. But you can analyze many layers as you want. Typically, we analyze five layers. Uh, asphalt very coarse, asphalt base coarse, aggregate base coarse. Aggregate sub base course and the sub so Here, uh, since uh, this is having the well layer sample, so what we consider that is two. Then, whenever you do, uh, we do, uh, we do not do damage analysis, when damage analysis is zero, we have to give a z coordinates, and that's the minimum one, and you can have more than one as well. Uh, there is uh, you will not change any cycles there are responses we'll say nine because we'll start to calculate all those stresses and strains uh, we say all layers are bounded that's one number of layer bottom tension we say one and number of layer in top compression one and then we are using so this you know this will be my first window and when you say okay that is saved now then z coordinate i have to input that z coordinate see in your problem that is 10 inches that's why i have written this is 10 inches so I, i'm not going to do anything just okay it's okay then layer uh, we have only one layer, we said 10 inches the thickness and then 0.5 and 0.5. That's okay too. Then the border line, as we have selected only one period. Uh, now, th th this is important here. Uh, since I have said layer 2, normally there are two different values for Elasticity modulus, but since we have only one layer, so uh, we'll keep this value same. Otherwise, you will not get your answer correct. So that's why it's ten thousand inputs. That it's okay. Then the load. Now we say load if if it's a single axle with single tire, then it's zero. Actually, how you analyze, you are standing at the cross section of the pavement where you can see, if you, if you are looking at the bus, the front of the bus, there are one wheel on each side, the front axle. So this will be a single axle with single tire because we we take half of it and if i'm looking at the rear axle of the bus there are two tires on each side so that is the dual tire there can be a configuration where there is a three axle truck the three axle truck if i'm looking at the first axle this is a single axle so again the load will be zero but if i'm looking at the rear axle there are you know, 
there are two axles and tandems, right? Actually, there are four tires. So there we say, uh, we will give this load group as two, and we say it's, we say it's uh, two for tandem axle. We write only a two here, and three if we have a tandem axle. So I hope you understand this point. Obviously, there's a contact radius that is five in the problem. Contact pressure 50 psi, the tire pressure, the YW is, you know, the distance between the tires, the, the distance between the wheels is 20 inches. XW is zero because this is a single axle with 12 tires. And then there is NR or NPT. So obviously, X is zero, and this was a this is again the single uh, the distance between the single tire. So once you press OK, then and you say it's OK, so you get out of the street. So everything is now done. Now you say you have to save this file, say save as, and you say this is example 2.1 page 49 remember the directory because it's very important to regard for the sake you just use this directory at uh, what is the care wave directory the do drive where you have copied your care wave software so like it, save it like this okay now once you save you exit from this window now once you exit from this window, you have to run a processor. And this processor, you can do it by pressing the scale layer. Okay, so it says uh, your text file is stored at this. You can click the editor button to open the file for inspection. You say, okay. I go to the editor button. I locate my file. And that's why I said, try to locate where you can recall it easily. Otherwise, you know, you will have, you have to uh, keep on searching where you have saved your file. Open. So this is how the analysis would look like. Uh, this is what you have done. And if you, if you compare the results from your example, you will find same results as you have the report. So uh, this way uh, you can solve the problems in, in the KLA. But I, I'll uh, give you one more thing more. It's a very good thing. You can always see from the graph what you can see the pictorial of your problem. Let's see. See? Uh, what happened is that you have you have two deck tire uh, 20 inch apart this was a 12 tire problem we have given two layers 10,000 10,000 you get there and then there's a subway and you can always find this another feature of this software